what's going on guys my name is jules we are back with the wind go b3 electric bike the cheapest electric bike on ebay or amazon uh, that you can actually find so today i kind of want to talk about the maintenance cost of you know keeping this bike up and running i've had this for two years and um it's in relatively good shape if you want to say obviously it's still a little bit dirty guys <laughs> but uh yeah when you're traveling back and forth and even i'm self-employed so i have a, a contract tomorrow that i have to attend to um and uh i think it's like two miles or two play two point something miles uh journey into the city and then um you know a two point something mile back so it's about five to six miles i'm doing tomorrow um it's fully charged everything is you know fully equipped i'm not i'm probably not even going to use it today just uh so i'm ready for tomorrow and tomorrow's trip um but yeah the maintenance side of it it's it's going to take some time you can see obviously i mentioned in the first uh, part one the um the back fender and for me the back fender was such a big you know problem because i actually couldn't find one i was looking for one looking for one eventually found some on ebay and amazon that you know suited this bike because not every single back fender is going to be suited for a bike this size so you're going to have to look hard i did link um in part one i put a link in the description to a back fender um that will work well on this bike and um yeah just maintenance overall is just uh it, it's it's relatively easy to be honest that like, you don't have to you know spend hundreds and hundreds really and truly after you you know you know you replace the brake you you know you get everything fine-tuned you get a new back tire everything is kind of going to be relatively easy even with the stock tire um because my first bike that i got on this it actually had one brake which is only the back brake, which is bad. I had to eventually, you know, buy for another brake to be installed in the front on my first ever wind wheel bike. And um, yeah, that was just a whole mess. That was basically a test, uh, you know, a test bike, if you want to say, which kind of geared me up into this one where I'm now more fine tuned and I know what I'm doing. I've owned it now for a very long time and I've been riding it for a long time. So, you know, even with the uh, the phone holder over there, um, you could pick these up from anywhere, even Pure Electric. I don't know if they're still open, um, but you can pick these up from anywhere. Amazon, I even linked one in the description in part one. So if you just go back to part one, you can find all these links. Um, but this is, you know, to a range of like 100 to 200 pounds worth of maintenance if you really, you know, want to break it down. But this is over a course of two years, do you know what I mean? um of of uh you know punctures changing tires changing brakes uh getting people to work on it you know you have to pay the labor cost so um yeah man it's not really that much i guess so if you want to really put in perspective because it's made me thousands and thousands of pounds but it has not um you know really cost me that much to fix if you want to you know compare the the two so Yep, it's been Jaws and uh, this is the maintenance video, part three.